this video is going to walk you through page 147, number 40. When I assigned this problem, I did not quite realize how complicated it is, so I thought I would help you out. Notice here that I've got the smart notebook limited editions because at home, which where I'm at right now, I didn't bother to upgrade my software yet, so just ignore this piece down here. So the question says a block with a mass of 6.0 kilograms is held in equilibrium on an incline of an angle 30 degrees by a horizontal force F, as shown in the figure. Find the magnitudes of the normal force on the block and of F, and ignore friction. So what I've started you off with here is the three main forces acting upon the block. F is the force that is keeping that block in place. So what I see here are two vectors that need to be resolved into X and Y component. First one we do is what we've done before. We're going to resolve gravity into its Y component and to its X component. And now let's look at this force that's holding the block in place. Notice that this force is parallel to the ground. If it's parallel to the ground, that means that force is tilted downward 30 degrees. This means that this force vector here can be resolved into its, its y component, which means it's tilted downwards this amount, and this x component. And notice that this x component here is parallel to but opposite direction of fgx. Let's see if I can fix this vector so it is opposite and parallel. And there we go, because that's the force, the fx vector here, that's the force that is keeping the block in place. And here is my Fy. So the first part of the question asks to find the normal force, but I'm going to choose to do this a different way. I'm going to do the second part of the problem first where I'm going to find the F. I'm going to find this gray vector F. And this is the point in time I need to remember some trig identities. And I don't know when in Algebra 2 or in pre-calculus we did, you did trig identities, but this is what we're going to use. So, if I take a look here, I am going to say that the fx vector has to equal and cancel out the fgx vector. The fx vector since that angle is 30 degrees, and this angle is also 30 degrees, is going to be F times the cosine of 30. The FGX vector is going to be the mass times gravity times the sine of 30 degrees. And I apologize, I left my stylus at school, and so this is a bit of a mess. What I'm going to do now is I am going to isolate F by dividing both sides by cosine of 30. Cosine of 30 cancels out. And then I have to ask myself, if I divide sine of 30 divided by cosine of 30, what trig identity is that? Sine divided by cosine. Well, lo and behold, that turns into the tangent of 30 degrees. And when I solve all of that out, I find that I've got my mass of my block, which was 6, times gravity of 9.8, times the tangent of 30, 
is 34 newtons. So now that I know that my force, this little gray vector here, is 34 newtons. So that's the first piece. For the second piece, I'm going to look at all the perpendicular components. This isn't perfectly drawn, so I'm doing this quickly. So notice that the Fy, Fg of y, will add together to cancel out the normal force. So, if I look at all the horizontal vectors here, Fy plus Fgy plus Fn all has to equal zero. Well, I can find Fy now by saying 34 times the sine of 30 degrees plus FGY, which is going to be 58.8, which is going to be the mass of the block times gravity times the cosine of 30 plus Fn has to all equal zero. So I need to find out what Fn has to be. Remember that this value here is negative and this value here is negative because they are all working downwards while normal force is acting upwards. So when I fill this in, I've got negative 34 sine 30 plus negative 58.8 cosine 30. I will find that Fn must equal 68 newtons. So I know the video quality is not all that great. I know that this problem is a little bit difficult to solve, but hopefully this will help you out in order to do number 40.